I am Dr. Miller, Math Magician. I am going to teach you the secrets of learning math extremely well and easily. And I'm going to illustrate this by solving a 14 by 14 magic square. But in order to do that, I need some basic fundamentals. First, I'm going to show you how to solve an odd numbered magic squared, in this case a 5 by 5. And the rules that we follow are, we move on a right diagonal. If we're off the board, we move to the opposite side, and if we're blocked, we move down one. So to illustrate these rules, let's put the numbers in. First, we put in a one. Move on a diagonal, off the board, move down one. Move on a diagonal. Again, but we're off the board, we move over. Continuing moving on a diagonal, we now find that when we want to put the six in, we're blocked. So we drop down one, continuing along on the diagonal. Here, we're off the board, we drop down one. Off the board, move over. We now we find that we're blocked when we try to put the 11 on. So we drop down one and continue moving on a diagonal. Put that 7 in the wrong place. Let's just continue. Okay. Here we're off the board, but either way we can't find anything, so we just drop down. 16, off the board, off the board. Blocked. Move down one. Finally, we have the 25 in. What makes this a magic square is that all of the numbers add up to 65 in the vertical direction and horizontal direction and the two diagonals. Now, we're going to take this knowledge and try to solve a 14 by 14 magic square. For the 14 by 14 magic square, we're going to develop another set of basic fundamentals. We're going to develop what we call X, Y, and Z patterns. The X pattern is when we place four numbers such that we're placing them in an X. One, two, three, four. The Y pattern is when we place the numbers in a backward U. One, two, three, four. And the Z pattern is when we place the numbers in a right forward U. And we find by experimentation that when we're working in the vertical directions for every two X patterns we need a Y pattern and for each Y pattern we need just one Z pattern however on the diagonals we find that this reverses for one X we need two Y's okay so now let's take and apply these rules and what we want to do is put in as, any, as many X, X, Y pairs uh, gr uh, groupings as we can. We figure that we could put in three or two, but we have one space left over. We always have to match. So we then put in an XXY pair, a YZ, and a YZ. And similarly, we do the same thing on the diagonal. Now, in order to solve this, we're going to mark where these XYs and Zs are. The bottom row is going to take care of the two Zs. We always get rid of the Zs on the bottom row. Then we take the Y's and finish off the diagonal. So we found that we had four Y's in the diagonal direction and there's the one X that was left over. Continuing on this side here, we do the same thing and we get our four Y's in there. Now we come over and look at the vertical. In the vertical we only have three Y's. So there's a Y here, Y here, Y here, one there, so I need two more. I have two there, so I need one more, two more, one more, two more, and three more. Okay, now, the way I'm going to remember the others, the Z's are going to be on the bottom, and the X's are going to be up here. So now, I begin. So this is the X region, so this is one, two, 
three, four. Move on a diagonal. This is a Z region, so it's a U, five, six, seven, eight. Continue on a diagonal in the Z region. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We now entered the Y region, so it's a backward U. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Still in the Y region. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. X region. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Blocked. Now we drop down one, which we're in the Y region. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Still in the X region. Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. 39, 40, down in the Z region, U, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Back in the X region, 149, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156. We're now off the board in the Z region, 157, 158, 159, 160. 161, 162, 163, 164, 165 in the Y region, 166, 167, 168 blocked. Now back in the Z region, 169, 170, 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177. 178, 179, 180. We're still in the Y region, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187, 188. The X region, 189, 190, 191, 192, 190. 3, 194, 195, and 196. And so we now see how easy it was once we have developed the pattern. The reason why I could also do it so quickly is because I've practiced a lot. We, now let's take a closer look and see what the final result looks like. So that's the fruits of the labor that we did in putting the those numbers in there. Now the reason why I went through all this was to show you a technique in learning to do a complicated problem. Problems that we normally get in the classroom only involve a few steps. Okay, a problem like this requires a huge amount of steps. It would be impossible to remember all of this that we have. So what we want to do is to find a way to organize the work and find the basic rules and practice applying those over and over again. And then it looks easy.
In fact, one piece of information I forgot to tell you, this adds up to 1379 on the vertical, horizontal, and the diagonals. I've done this on an Excel sheet so it would do the automatic summing for me. That way it makes it easy for me to find errors. Another important technique we learned. This problem represents all of the things that we need to learn in order to, to be able to be good at math. So basically this one example which looks like it's a puzzle to most people and represents a challenge is something that basically is the fundamental implores and uses the fundamental concept of mathematics. So I've given you the challenge. I've shown you how to do it. So try doing this problem again and then try to go on beyond. In one example, I've gone as high as a 30 by 30 magic square. It was a good thing I did on Excel sheet because I made lots of errors and it helped me find those errors by checking to make sure those sums came out to 1379. Good luck and thank you for watching.